You know what? Some of you guys are watching my videos and you're not subscribed to me. Some of you guys are commenting on my videos and you're not subscribed to me. Mm -hmm. I see the analytics. I look at them all the time. If you're not subscribed to me, just do me a favor. Just take two seconds out your life and just hit that subscribe button. And then take another two seconds out your life and hit that post notification bell. Because I think I'm I think I'm worthy to be subscribed to. I got decent videos. I'm pretty consistent. And I, I do give out a lot of information that a lot of people charge for. I'm watching you. Let's go ahead and get to the video. Bolo! Alright, what is good you guys? It's your boy Bolo and I am back at it again. Gonna make a new beat using the Effectrix plugin on Beatmaker 3. Now, I know many of y'all know about the Effectrix plugin. It's one of these plugins where you can add multiple effects in one plugin and it's actually kind of dope. I actually got the crack version on my laptop, but I righted all my wrongs because I actually bought the full version for my laptop. The crazy part is the reason why I bought the full version is I was on my iPad the other day and I was just, you know, looking up the Effectrix plugin and I clicked on it, but it took me to the app page and come to find out there was a VST for it that you can use in Beatmaker 3. So I was like, yo, let me get it. And it was like super cheap. So I went ahead and bought it. And I went ahead and bought the uh, full version that's, you know, typically that you use on your laptop or your desktop. I bought that one too. So um, let's go ahead and make a dope beat with that. But before we do that, uh, I got to go down to the studio. I'm still having problems with this AC, man. This AC is killing me downtown at the studio. Like, you know, my whole HVAC system, I need to replace it. I got the money to do it. I just, I just don't feel like doing it because I spent a whole bunch of money upgrading a lot of stuff in the old system. And I know it's an older system, but God, dog, it shouldn't be breaking down like this all the time. So it's super cold down there right now. So I'm gonna go down there and get that done. And I'm gonna finish a few things at the studio. I gotta mix a record down there today because uh, we got a pretty big meeting tonight with an artist that I'm working with. And uh, I gotta get some stuff done, but man, it's just one thing after another. I'll replace that at some point. Let's go ahead and uh, take care of a few things at the studio and then uh, we'll get back here at the big house and uh, make a beat with Effectrix. All right. Let's go. Okay, what is good? I am actually at my other studio right now. I had to come down and mix this record over here. We got a big management company coming over and I have a really big uh, DJ coming over here tonight to check out this record. I'm really praying that everything goes good because I need to go ahead and get this guy into a situation. I just got somebody else into another situation. I'm trying to get this guy into a situation and that'll be like two for two in the past three months. After I get done over here, uh, basically bouncing on this record, I got to head over to the investment property, just check on a few things, make sure everything is okay. Um, they just put new windows and uh, just check on that. Let's go up to the other house, check on that. Let's go. look kind of good proud of myself all right let's get to the house man the joys of the atlanta traffic and i'm still 20 miles away from the house great five hours later now some of y'all know y'all are dead wrong because y'all skipped over the whole intro and everything else and came straight to this part right here but it's all good still got love for you but just make sure y'all hit that subscribe button thank you all right, so first thing we're gonna do today is we're gonna find a nice little guitar tone. Um, I'm just gonna play like a guitar tone and try to make something really dope. I'm gonna do this very quick um, because this is more about the Effectrix than the beat, I guess, but I guess the beat still has to be somewhat dope. So uh, let me find that guitar tone or just find a regular guitar and uh, see if I can find something dope to play. And then uh, from there, we're gonna add a few more sounds and then add the drum. So let's figure this out. 
don't sound bad already. I'm gonna try to keep it in the key of C since everybody likes to play the white keys or the black keys. I'm gonna keep it real simple today. All right, that sounds decent. So let's go ahead and um, add in like another kind of spacey, airy type of sound with it. So let's add that. Sounds good to me, let's add it. Not bad, let's add one more sound. Let's just uh, see if we can add a little bit more space to it a little bit. And then from there, um, one of those sounds we're gonna add Effectrix to to kind of give it like a glitchy, like stop tape vibe to it. And just to show you how the plugin works. So let's go ahead and add one more sound and then we're gonna add Effectrix to uh, one of the sounds in here and show you how it looks on here. All right, so I think I found some. Let me go add it in. It's gonna be really like simple, and uh, we're gonna try to dress it up with the electric. So let's let's do it. All right, so I kind of like that last sound. So um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open up electric. And the only thing that I don't really like about Effectrix on here is it looks really cheap. I guess the developers tried to do as best as they could for the iPad, but I think they could have did a little bit better because looking at like the D1 and looking at a few other synths on here, like the GUI looks kind of cool, but this one is like really small and I, I don't know if you can blow it up or not. If you are the Effectrix developer, let me know if y'all are gonna do any updates to how the GUI looks because it's very small and kind of get kind of crossed up when you're trying to do this stuff. So um, let's open it up and let's see what we can do to this last sound with Effectrix. So um, it comes with some presets. I'm gonna get rid of all that. I'm just gonna add my own stuff to it and that's what I'm gonna do. So let's, let's do it. So I'm gonna go to audio effects and then we're going to go to audio unit and then we're going to go to effectrix show it and this is what it looks like very small um don't know if you can resize it but it is very small but we're gonna make it do what it do so let's try to make something out of it <music>
so there it is. Um, added a few uh, effects to it. Seems like it takes a little bit of CPU power too. It's something real simple, but it works just like all the other Effectrix. So if you're used to Effectrix, this should be something that you'll be very used to and you'll know how to do it. I'm not as like seasoned in Effectrix like that. I do know a few things. If you're really good in it, this would be something very useful if you're making beats on your iPad. So uh, let's go ahead and add some drums to it and uh, call it a day. find the right kick got to find the right kick So there it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and pattern this out. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed seeing the Effectrix. Hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, peace out. <laughs>